Uh, splendid. Welcome back, everybody, to Horizon Forbidden West. I don't want to spend so much more time here, but... What is that? Sterling Mark Leeds. Sitter Mgmar. What? What? What am I reading here? News item. Data corruption severe. Data corrupted. All the making of the next big, big thing. A much valued acquisition from an art historian turned technologist, no less. Bleeding edge science and a great narrative to boot. I'm still not sure what the words trying to tell me that I'm reading aloud here. The application was called OECITT after young Christ in the temple, a well-known Vermeer for forgery, by creating perfect holographic scans of individual layers of a painting and comparing them to a vast lab library of artistic works, it was able to identify fakes with an unprecedented pre level of accuracy. But it was clear to Sterling, executives, that the program's ability to match and identify patterns had broad applications outside of the art world. As a tool for security, counter surveillance, or digital auth authentication. Oh, this is a software tool I was talking about, I assume. And she created. Uh, it could prove just as revolutionary as it had in the intended role. Which is why they're willing to sign a nine figure agreement for it. And it's a lot of money. Blasting news of the deal to every outlet in the tech media. Two years later, the project collapsed in a chaotic jumble of lawsuits, recriminations, and accusations of sabotage. So what went wrong? Who was responsible? And most importantly, what were, what happened to the underlying technology, which by all accounts was far more powerful than the vaporware label applied by disgraced executives? They are corrupted. Sure. If there's anything else to read here, I'll just do a little, just one more walkie walk. Okay, yeah, this is where we came from. The bunker down just there. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenas can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. I'm wondering where she's hiding now. Horus energy cells. Sure, why not? It just popped up. Horus energy cells. Data points. Quest text log. Uh, data corruption. Minimal alloy. All phase of War 7 Horus combat platforms included EMP. Cells are part of their arsenals. Acquiring and deploying one shouldn't be difficult, but well... Uh, but we get to delve in a moment. The bigger issue is activation. Bearing extraordinary circumstances, such as interference from Hades, as you experienced last year, all Horus munitions are inert, deactivated by Minerva's decryption regime during the 23rd and 22nd centuries. To render these EMPs operational, we'll have to skirt those efforts. Otherwise, the way to do so without causing unwanted repercussions. Repercussions. <laughs> I'm still on a native, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> a bespoke code signal that should enable all and only such devices in the vicin vicinity. Vicinity! After it's brought into your focus, all you have to do now is to send it out. A zero dawn communications relay should do the trick. I believe you refer to them as a tall max. Ah, interesting. I have chosen one for you that is centrally located, now marked in your heart. Oh, that must be the one that wasn't available for me before, because I wasn't able to fly on it with a birdie. And now, soon I will learn this. In the wings of the ten, I assume. Simply override it as you would normally, and my signal will automatically transmit. Every EMP on every hour is within 500 kilometer radius should come online. On to acquisition and deployment. Horus units manufacture the EMPs in their fabrication base, then subsequently loaded them onto their multi-purpose appendages, or tentacles, if you like, because the cells were designed to be detachable, enabling them to be fired or thrown at enemy forces. Their fittings should be quite light. The only way to attain them will be through the air, but it sounds like you already have that covered. When you reach one, it should come loose with a hard yank, rust or corrosion notwithstanding. There is no need to prime the cell as they are designed to trigger an impact. Once you have one, all you need to do is drop it in the target area. I'm sure Regalor and Dominions will enjoy the experience. All the best, till then. Uh, 
Now to something. Sad? God, Jesus Christ, this is such a big map! First things first, we're going to return to the base and... Um, I'm, I'm, could imagine the others. I don't know if they came to the cauldron. Where Val and Vader and Aloy were and, and checked what, what happened. I really don't know if they know. You know. Either way, it's going to be sad. Uh, <laughs> this is a loading screen, right? Oh man, it's going to be a big fight. I think I, I'm not sure if there was a spoiler. I think once I I read like the, on on Google uh, what's the hardest fight in the whole game, and and at least one side said Regalor, and should I be worried? I think I was doing pretty well so far, especially like doing the last main mission, not dying once and so. Okay, but this is um, a problem of the future. We have another problem in the present now. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can't I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Kotalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. Okay. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you, too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... Need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Hikaru. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Oh. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. That sounded important. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. I, I have no sense of time anymore. We're just 10 minutes and yeah, we totally have time for this. <laughs> okay. Please don't question the way I run. I've been through a lot recently. Uh oh. I 
I just remembered like Vol's Keep mom moving. from, from Zero on. Dawn. Shut up! The war chief that was actually kind of cool. She lost both her children now. This is just getting sadder and sadder the more you think Over about. here, Aloy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower gathered its seeds. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, Still the sea rises as certain as stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Aloy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. Thank him for saving my life, sure, but also for not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. <laughs> then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. I'm too sad to talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh man. The dying itself, maybe because I really was expecting it, because so many other things happened at the same time. That was, it was one thing, but that now. Ah, that pulled. Pulled my heartstrings. <sighs> yeah, I figured too, I wouldn't talk. Clean my gear later. I could do yours if you want. I cleaned it already. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Don't mention it. 
I thought you were gonna go fight some Tanakhs. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. <laughs> I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. I, mean, I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. Do you think so we'll be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. I need to get going. Uh, you better get there before Catalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. Uh, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. I'll do my best. You're my oldest friend now. Please don't die. I think this is nothing personal, but I've always been more, a bit more. I don't know. I, Aaron was a more interesting character than Val. If Aaron would die now, or oh God, no! Please don't do this to me. Think you can manage things here while I go help Akaro? Stopping Regala's war. It'll help us take the fight to the Zeniths. Yes. Then I'll make sure the rest of us are ready upon your return. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I know we both want to make the Zenas pay for what they've done, but once we infiltrate their base, our priority will be to get Gaia and Beta out of there. Don't worry. I won't go seeking revenge like some blood-crazed Tanakh. Wherever your arrow strikes, mine will follow. Well, let's hope we hit our targets. We'll be facing Spectre drones soon. Aaron and Catalo have fought them before, so... I already asked them to run us through some combat drills. Aaron moves like an oaf, but he's good with that hammer. How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. I need to get going. Whatever you plan on doing against Regala, you better return to us in one piece. I'll try. Okay, yeah, we was about to say, there's only one person left here now. Aloy. You look yeah. busy. My studies are a good distraction. Especially after Cauldron Gemini. Varl. Beta. Gaia. Gone. And that's just the beginning. The Zeniths want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. Oh, and I wanted to give you this, for helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. Wondering what it is. Sharks? I like sharks. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the Ancestors. The Overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish. Egotistical, cruel. But in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that, instead of looking the other way or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. Aww. 
For that, I thank you, Aloy. <sighs> Tilda, the Zenith that Beta mentioned, she was the one who rescued me. Did she say why? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. Oh, please don't. I really like her. Don't let her be double agent and turn on me again. And, oh. So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been studying up on them. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht. An entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted. Not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless. And deadly. Yeah. Period. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Arend seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time to sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. I try not to think about it. Seems like everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. Patalo more than most. If I were this Regala, I wouldn't want to cross him on the <sighs> battlefield. Regala still has a lot of machines on her side. That's where you come in, I suspect. If my plan works. I should get going. Be ready to go on my signal, okay? I won't let you down. I know. Oh. Okay, let's go to these crafting. Oh, 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 I'll take some of the good stuff first. Okay. Craft the sun being override. Please tell me I have the resource I need to do so. Is it started to remember? Okay, it uh, at no cost. When it comes to the other stuff, I... Wait a more task. Sky Trifter. Okay, I don't care. Um, gimme! Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Alright, let's try this. You know, we've never played Machine Strike oh, together, no. wait. I got enough trouble with Catalo, always kicking my ass. You said I'm any good at it. The way my luck's going, I'll bet you're a pro. Oh boy. This is a classic, everyone is sad. In the team, in the base moment, because someone died. <sighs> Let's try to distract ourselves. We're finding a okay. bird. I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Wait, why do you set me down? I thought I was able to climb. Right? I'll just climb up here. Okay, we still have a few minutes at least. We can try this, like like first time try overriding <laughs> one of these guys. I'm not sure if I'm climbing up the right mountain. Okay, seems good. God, I will probably crash with this within seconds. Oops, where are we going? Good. There are sun wings up here. I'll have to approach them quietly. Hello. 
This is it. I'm in the air. Find her? Rush. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. Exactly. On it. The one I wasn't able to override earlier. Oh god, I- uh, Fly to the tall neck. Yeah, do I have to find the right moment to jump from this thing down, or...? Uh, am I just flying into a cutscene here? Which I would probably prefer. Am I faster by doing so? Not necessarily, I am not sure. It's my first time on a thing like that, okay? There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. Try to slow down and hover in place. Hold R1 to ascend to descend. Oh, okay. Interesting. Now, how to land this thing? Are you really going to land on it? Oh, this is very nice that you have a button for me for that. Made it. Just got over it. The landing button. Okay, Tilda. I've overridden the tall neck. Good. And the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on a Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, what?! I was wondering, okay, how do I get on it again? <laughs> oh, it was too good. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, we're doing this right away. I mean, we're already on it. We're doing Rings of the Town. Can I just, can I take a look at the map while I'm on here? I think I already had everything kind of kind of gray out grayed out. I think nothing new popped up. Yeah, I mean I already did the desert very good even without a tall neck. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, this is also completed now. Great, let's go up here. Are we still, yeah, we still have one minute. Can we make it? Can we pick up the energy cell? This is actually maybe something we should do at the beginning of the next episode then. Rebels. Reinforcements, maybe. Heading for the grove. I hope a cover on this knock can hold out a little longer. Just ignore me up here. She's flying. And there's nothing you can do about it. I hope. There's the energy cell. Right on the Titan's back. The 
pick it up. Got the cell. Now onto the grove. Damn! We're really doing this! Pulse from the Tolmex should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any Horus I fly to. It'll be useful, even after I deal with Regala. Okay. But not now. Now we go to the Memorial Grove. Let me see. This is it. Okay, this is actually flight to the Memorial Grove, but the fight is going to happen. Guys, I have the feeling we are about to fly into something bigger. We are looking at the time. Let me see if I can make use of my eight skill points, and then I would end this episode here. Yeah, sure. And you as well. Why not? Hey, almost done with this one as well. Infiltrator, survivor, hunter, trapper, and we still do not talk about Machine Master here. All right, guys. Um, from one big mission right into the next one. The wings of the ten fly to the memorable grove and make a little... Little poof. At least what, is, what I'm expecting going to happen. Probably out of things as well. Um, this all then in the next episode. For now, I really hope you enjoyed that one. And you will be back for the next one. I will see you there.